Hello, everyone. Welcome back again. This is Teacher Michael from Think Academy. Okay, so today's video is about how to solve problem number four of exercise day two. So first, let's read the question. As shown in the figure below, in triangle ABC, AB is three BE. Okay, let's mark it down. AB is three BE. AC is three CD, and G is the midpoint of AD. F is the midpoint of E D. Okay, so given that the area of equilateral B C D E is twenty square centimeters larger than that of triangle D G F, what is the area of A B C? Okay, so now let's try to apply the first information given. That's A B is three B E. Okay, so A B is here, and uh, we want to mark down A E. Since AB is 3BE, so it's equivalent to say that AE is 2 over 3 times AB, okay? So let's put it um, into words. AE is what is 2 over 3 AB, okay? So this is what we learned from the first condition. Then we are also given that AC, which is here, and that is three times the length of CD, okay? So, uh, and again, we know that AD is just two or three times the length of AC, right? Similar to uh, what we got previously. So again, we use blue. AD is two over three AC, okay? All right, so this is what we learned from the um, first two conditions. And now, Notice that the two blue lines, they are equal to the ratio of the yellow lines, right? They are always two to the three times of the length of the corresponding yellow lines. And now they have this angle here, which is shared by the triangle AED and ABC. So we learned that triangle AED is similar. So we use this little... Uh, wave sign to denote similarity in geometry, okay? Triangle ABC, and let's write down the reason why they are similar. Because, because they have proportional size, okay, length of size is always two to three, and they have, they share the same intersection angle, okay? So let's, uh, refer this uh, understanding as number one so we can apply it easier to our further solving of the question. And we can move on with that. So because they are similar, then we know the ratio of their area, E, D. Okay, so we have the fraction line, A, B, C. Okay, so the ratio of their size is two over three. So by serum, the ratio of the area is 2 over 3 square, which is 4 over 9. Okay, so this is true because, I mean, we can just uh, recall the theorem that ratio of areas of a uh, similar triangle is equal to ratio of size lens square. Okay, so obviously 2 over 3 square is 4 over 9. All right, so four over nine. Then we also know that the ratio of the equilateral BCDE is to the ratio of the triangle ABC, okay? Triangle ABC is what? So we know AED is uh, four out of nine to the triangle ABC in terms of area. So BECD must be 9 minus 4, which is 5 out of 9 of the area ABC, right? So we'll put into fraction. So let's just do a simple subtraction. It's 9 or 5 or 9, okay? By the way, we want to refer this part as number 2, so we can apply it later. And now we want to move on to the other given condition, okay? Uh, G is the midpoint of AD. Okay, so since G is midpoint of what of AD and F 
is midpoint of what ed okay so let's also try to um visualize what we are given so i will take this color okay i like pink um so okay so we first have a d okay a d is here and then we know let's use red okay um g is a minimum of a d so dg okay dg is one half to the length of a d and it's similar to here okay f is the midpoint of e d okay so this tells us that in terms of length the f okay is one over two to the uh, length of d e so as we can see we have proportion size is always one over two and triangle f g d and triangle e a d they share the same angle d okay so let's put this into a uh, mathematical words we know triangle dgf similar to triangle dae and why this is true because number one okay number one is at the top of this page and now we want to use this to find the ratio of the area so again use um, blue the area of triangle dgf to the area of triangle DAE is equal to the ratio of area is equal to the square of the ratio of size. Okay, so I think the ratio is one over two, right? Because the midpoint. So one over two, we square it. Easy calculation is okay, one over four. And we know this is true because number two. Okay, so okay, so. We now want to uh, apply what we have now. And let's try to find the area of equilateral, you know, of triangle A, E, D. Actually, I will rewrite it. Wait. Okay, so what we are trying to do now is to apply what we have. So the ratio of area triangle A, E, D over the area of triangle ABC times triangle the area of triangle GFD over area of triangle AED. So just by observing this equation, they have uh, area of triangle AED on the numerator and also here on the denominator, so they cancel out. And let's plug in uh, so triangle area of triangle AED over triangle ABC, we have is four over nine, which is here, okay? And times uh, the area of triangle GFD over the area of triangle AED, which is here, okay? So this gives us area of triangle GFD over area of triangle ABC, is equal to four and four again, numerator, denominator, same number, cancel out, one over nine, okay? So let's rewrite it. We just have that the area of triangle ABC, which is our interest, is nine times the area of triangle GFD, okay? And after that, we want to apply another uh, ratio we already have. So triangle uh, area of equilateral BCDE, BCDE over area of triangle ABC times area of triangle ABC. Okay, on the numerator where the denominator is area of triangle GFD equals to again same on the denominator and the numerator. So cancel out. And we have the area of triangle of uh, equilateral BCDE over area of triangle ABC here, which is five or nine times area of triangle ABC over GFD. So we have it right here, right? But now we swap the numerator and denominator. So this becomes one over nine, right? And okay, so this cancel out 
we have five here and we just copy down what we have left b c d e here is the area of triangle g f d okay so we can rewrite this as well i will continue here um this tells the area area of equilateral b c d e is five times the area of triangle GFD. Okay, so the last condition we are given is that the area of BCD is 20 larger than the area of triangle DFG. So BCD is area minus uh, area of triangle GFD is equal to 5 uh, times the area of triangle GFD minus 1 time. Okay, the same area. And this is 4 times the area of triangle GFD, which is equal to 20, okay? 20 is here. Area of triangle GFD is 20 divided by 4. Easy calculation is 5. Yeah, let's put the uh, units, okay? It's 5 square centimeters. But not done yet. We are looking for the triangle area of triangle ABC. Okay, so there's a one important condition we can apply here. It's right here. Okay, so area of triangle ABC is 9 times the area of triangle GFD. We have GID is 5 square centimeters. So obviously area of triangle ABC okay, is 9 times 5 square centimeters, which is 45 square centimeters, okay? So this is our final answer. Let's put a small box over it. Okay, so this is for today's uh, last question. And if, if you have any question, you can just uh, send it to me or you can ask me in the chat group. I will respond. Otherwise, have a good one and I will see you on day three. Okay, bye.